The project is called Aboriginal Dot Paintings and I wanted to do some sort of project where we didn't have to use paintbrushes. So I just started researching Aboriginal art and it's all about natural forms and animals. This painting represents a bird in a desert because this is supposed to be Africa and it's thinking about rain when it's really, really hot outside. I specifically also chose the bird because I can play around with the colors a lot. So that's why I chose the bird. I wanted it to be sort of like a self-portrait kind of project in the style of Aboriginal. They had to prove, they can't just say, oh, I really like this animal, so I'm going to use it. They had to pick one that reflects their personality and then tell me why. I chose this dolphin because he represents me as playful. I like, I like to entertain my friends and tease around and play around and that's what a dolphin is like. We did a lot of pre-planning. So there was, they, each kid, as you saw on the back, had to finish two thumbnail sketches and one final sketch. In the back right here, it has a whole paragraph about how it relates to me. For instance, like its long beak for when it catches its prey, then it's like it, it hunts for what it wants, so it's like I earn what I want. My favorites were like Bethany's, the ones that she did every kind of dot. She did the little dots, the uh, big dots, she even did the, um, if you use like the top of a marker, so it's just a circle, she even had those in it. So I think they started discovering smaller dots were better detail, but using the variety, all of the different dowels I got made the project the most successful. This is the one project that is really hard to get the kids to sell because they get so attached because it takes so long and there's so many steps to it that they, they've been, there's been lots of offers but most of the kids say no. If it was just to a stranger, I probably wouldn't because I took, it took a lot of effort to get, to get to this far, to get this whole feeling. Like, I really liked it and I, I really treasure it, but it has to be like a really good cost. Like, um, I don't know. I don't know if I would sell it though. Maybe, but not really. The most surprising thing to me about the project is that every single one comes out good. Every, every kid does a good job. It's sort of like fail proof, I think, because if they spend the time doing it and they, you know, use the different size dowels and they dot 85% of their board is what it is, they, every single one looks good. For more information, visit hitechhigh.org.